this up. And then we wait. There should be no problem for this to 50% function before inserting your data and abilities into your tiny mu- You okay there? Harpuya! Is there something wrong? Oh, no. No headaches at all after the serpent stole the Mother W, if you ask that. <sighs> you were zoned out when I was working on your Model H. Is any for your thoughts? Oh, my apologies, Commander Seal. I didn't listen to anything to what you said earlier. It's okay. And just see you only, please. And I'm not a commander anymore. We've been working together for a long time now. Now, what's on your mind? It's nothing. Aha! Uh -huh. What? Daphne and Leviathan were right. They're quite observant. I can see that you're lying, and you're so terrible at it. Especially when it comes to heart-to-heart -heart conversations. What makes you- Your eyes wander around as if a child just got caught in trying to find excuses to lie. Despite your confident posture and unwavering immaculate voice. <laughs> Those two. And I know that look. Back then, Alouette was the first to notice. Not only was I was extremely busy completing the CL system, but also pondering, thinking about the fate of the resistance, my family and everyone's fate rest in my hands while still learning how to be a good leader. She told me so many times to take a break. Little dear she was, I was so hard on myself. I was too. Your siblings must have knocked some sense into you too, huh? Yeah, except they knocked me harder. <laughs> <laughs> I should have listened to you. Hell, I should have listened to your guts too. Now Bottle W is on his hands. We never see it coming. Serpents really got us. You said it yourself that the first time you looked at him, you knew he was up to no good. You were absolutely right. I yelled at you, Seal. I know, I know. We've been throwing our apologies many times already. And I know where your agitation comes from. Near Arcadia. Such a wondrous name Master X gave to the Utopia he built long ago. You must have known what Arcadia actually means. A harmonious, simple, quiet, and innocent place with no disturbance. Uh, well, scratch that simple and quiet part because of big cities, tall buildings, transportations, and technology. Hence the word Neo. Not so pastoral imagery life as depicted in the late 16th century poems, huh? Still living the hustle life. <laughs> that is correct. And scratch that harmonious, innocent place too. We have been under a fake detector ruler for so, so long I blindly follow his orders. Not only I was prideful to follow what he said, but also I was actually afraid. Afraid of the punishments he might give it to us if we deny his orders. When I got elected to become the next interim leader after his death, I did my utmost best 
to reconstruct the system. Anything and everything from within, even if it takes time. While humans, we had to lull them into a false sense of security, that they were in perfectly safe from any harm. And yet, they didn't know what actually really is happening behind the curtains. What are we actually doing yet? <sighs> it wasn't as harmonious and innocent as they thought of us would be. You know what we did. We're mavericks. And those... those innocent reptiles. Sometimes I keep thinking to myself whether I make good decisions or not. As a commander of Winter Sky, as an interim leader of New Arcadia, as a guardian to Master X, as an elder brother of the four, and as myself. Most of the time, all five of them, I feel regret. I got lots of written in my ledger seal. And then madmen. New Arcadia. How ironic. Not fitting into the actual definition of what it's supposed to be. A paradise with unspoiled wilderness. But in the end, it's a false paradise. We created it. I created it. And I let that happen. And yet, despite these regrets, what the past is already in the past, you still believe your fighting had meaning. That's exactly what I felt back then too. Even if we were from two different sides with different ideas, our beliefs and goals are the same to this day. Even right now, I feel myself full of anxiety towards the uncertainty, leaving the Grand Nuche to Alouette, running away from Serpent, Bringing you three in Model W data to do more research and create biometals in the middle of nowhere. Safely going into cyberspace to see Zero, X, and Phantom. I don't really know if any of the decisions I make were the right thing to do or not anymore. We don't really know what the future holds. Being a leader is supposed to be good at decision making. Looks like we're both not bad. I was only 14 years old when I founded the Resistance. I was actually very lost. Despite having an advanced human brain, and I put on my leader facade in front of everyone else. But in the core of my heart, whatever I decided, even after already putting in so much meticulous plans, I still believe what we did was right, that our fighting had meaning. Even... Even... <sighs> I don't want to finish that sentence. Even if it costs life. It's not your fault. You were still young. I know. Many people assured me that, especially Servo and my therapist. Yet, I believe every action has consequences. Yes, I was young, but I was also aware of everything that happened. I too have reds on my leisure, Harpuya. Now, I'm an adult. <sighs> Two weeks ago, my recon units died because of me. The nightmare is still lingering in my life. I want to mend things right, and yet, history repeats itself once again. What's done, is done. Now, we will make sure their deaths are not in vain. We will make sure of it. They die for a good cause. For justice and peace to the world. Our fighting had meaning back then. 
and our fighting had meaning today too. History will eventually repeat itself. We always knew this was going to get convoluted, but we will make sure it is different this time. We have to look at the bigger picture. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. <laughs> I don't know how to stop another madman. But I have high hopes for the future chosen ones that I trusted most to share my powers with them. That's the Harpuya I know. Huh? You were not yourself sometimes. Well, most of the time. That obvious? Mm hmm. Even your siblings didn't tell me. It's kind of obvious. Look how pale you are. I was like that too. Like I said, I know that look. Ah! It's done! Yamato H is half ready. What is left is transferring yourself into this tiny model. This also applies to Fefnir and Leviathan. I like it. Let me know when you and the others are ready to be transferred into the biomodels. And then, we'll all go to Area M and seal the Model W core. We gotta make plans how to get there without getting caught. Yes, seal. And one more thing, Harpuya. Don't punish yourself, Harpuya. Please. Yes, we're in pain, but we will always let you know that you're not alone in this matter. We're all in this together. You are far more attentive than my siblings, I see. I love from the best. Servo was like a father to me. He was constantly worried. But he encouraged me not to give up every step of the way. Wise words to live by. I stood up my beliefs. I made no mistakes. Wise words indeed. Now, eat that crystal. You'll feel better. <laughs> <laughs>